action. Hello. And welcome back. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, and welcome back to the Outdoor Minimalist YouTube channel. My name is Meg Carney, and I'm the author and host of Outdoor Minimalist. And today I will be reviewing the Save by Spot Gen 4 device. I think you can also just call it a spot device, but it says save by spot on there and I think that that's cute. Okay, <laughs> so what it is, is essentially, it is an SOS communication satellite device that you can take into the back country. I think that for anyone, especially if you're someone that travels solo a lot like me, having something that allows you to call for help and share your location with your loved ones is essential, especially if you don't always have cell reception. So this, this is a lot different than what you would see from something like a Garmin inReach because as you may notice, there isn't a screen of any kind. So this is a very basic device and the primary purpose is to allow you to call for emergency assistance and share your location. Um, so some of the primary features that I think are worth pointing out on here is number one, you have an SOS alert button. And I like that it is covered, so you can't really accidentally press it. Um, the next one is just a general tracking button. So if you would like people to be able to track or get alerted of your location every so often, I think they have different time frames, like it's like 30 minutes, 60 minutes, 90 minutes, they'll be pinged where you exactly are located. And then the other options are just a general check-in being like, hey, this is where my camp is. And the last one is you can pre-program messages to specific contacts. So all those last three, you have to set it up ahead of time before you leave to go on to your trip. So that is one bit of a snag when it comes to this. There's a lot of setup on the back end and it does require a subscription. So on top of the standard price for this device, which is highly durable, I will say, I have used it in a lot of different conditions and it has gotten wet and it still functions perfectly. Um, you do have to pay for a subscription. They have two options. They have just the general one, which I believe is about $12 a month. And then they have a flex package, which is closer to 15. And that one's ideal for seasonal workers. So if you only work out in the back country for five to six months out of the year, you could just pay for that time period. And the rest of the year, your subscription is turned off. So I pay for just their general monthly pricing. So it's $12 a month. And I think that it's highly functional. Since I travel in a vehicle that does not have something like OnStar, I also just keep it in my car for long road trips. And it gives me a way if I were to get stranded for some reason or get into a car accident, especially out on public land where maybe there's no cell service, I have a way that I can get help from someone else. The one major downside from this that I could see people like not being super interested in is the fact that it utilizes batteries. It is not rechargeable. It would be nice if this was just a rechargeable device, but it doesn't use very many batteries. Quite honestly, I have mine turned off almost all the time unless I'm going to use it. So the only time that I have it turned on is once I get to a camp or location, I turn it on, I go into an area that has open sky. It doesn't access the satellite very well to send a message very quickly if you're under a heavy cover of trees. Um, and I send a check-in and then I turn it off again. I know that some people may think that it's not necessary to have an emergency device like this because they are competent outdoors people, but I, <laughs> I don't know how to say this. Um, yeah, okay, so I've been in a fair number of situations. I know several people, a handful of folks that also have died in the backcountry that were very, very skilled outdoors people and also people that travel in groups and no one on the trail had anything that could alert SOS and a rescue team. And part of the reason why their companion died on the trail that day is because it took them an extra 40, 45 minutes to find someone that had a device like this or a Garmin to alert a rescue team to come and help their friend. So I think even though you think it can never happen to you, you're better safe than sorry. So I always carry one of these. If you travel in a pair, I do recommend that each person has their own device because if you were to get separated or if one, one, 
one person maybe falls down a crevasse or something like that and is unconscious, then it gives the other person an opportunity to alert it on their own and the other person isn't stranded without any way to call for a rescue. The overall convenience of this I think is pretty high and it is probably about the same size if not maybe slightly larger than the Garmin, like the smallest Garmin in reach device. Um, I like that it comes with a locking carabiner. It would be nice if this was an auto locker instead of a screw lock. Um, and you also have the option to open it with the Velcro so you can take the strap off completely if you don't want it on. So that does make it slightly lighter. But I like to have the strap on. I think that it is easier to find and access because generally where I attach it to my pack is I put it in the mesh pouch pocket and I clip it to that clip. So if for some reason I were to get injured, it would be very easily accessible and I would not have to sift or dig through my pack to find it. I'm not gonna give this a standard sustainability score because it's an electronic. And quite honestly, I don't know a ton about the sustainability of electronic devices. I will say brands like Spot and Garmin, they do not use the um, common trend of planned obsolescence. The intention behind these devices is that they will last your lifespan. You will have to change the batteries occasionally, obviously, but the device itself will probably last for generations. If you liked this review and would like to see more, make sure you hit that like button. I don't know where it is on the screen, but you can find it. And you can also subscribe to stay up to date with new releases of our YouTube videos on the YouTube channel. If you want to stay up to date with podcast episodes that are released every Monday about various topics regarding sustainability in the outdoor industry, you can subscribe to our Spotify or Apple podcasts. If you want a nice clean package to know what's going on every single week, the easiest way to do that is to head over to theoutdoorminimalist.com and subscribe to our weekly newsletter. And together, we will create a better outdoor space as we recreate.